Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fantastic David Keenan. How are you all doing? The song is an ode to the past. Won't you meet me down Down by Barrack Street Well I said there's all coming To greet their family I heard an old one speak Of the emergency Hiding coal under a baby And it's proud that's where my mother's mother was raised on bread and butter Mapping those streets in the creases of her path Fathers converged on the bars and prepaid For the coming of the glimmer man Won't shed no tears for the good old days. For the talk say we can mourn them in a song. And the truth be told, there are men in a soul. I say, God bless you and bless all who belong to thee. Won't you meet me down By the park factory house Where all the bicycles they are on Travelling in unison You are the latches forever Left on every door Keep your eyes peeled For them peelers in the dark man. Money on the doors that stung me. Yeah, I would greet them all with the tipping of my cap. So let's escape and go to a picture show in a picture house where Navvies and the Banshees roll. Shed no tears for the good old days. Of a talk, say we can mourn them in a song. The truth be told, there are many in a soul. I say, God bless you, and bless all who belong to thee. And bless all who belong to thee. Oh, God bless. God bless all who belong to thee. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic, David. Thanks for joining us today. We're very happy to have you. Um, first of all, I'd like to talk. We have a lot to cover in a short time, yeah. so we'll get straight into it. I'd like to talk, first of all, about your show last night, which was fantastic. Yeah. I was lucky enough to catch it. Um, the first song when you came out, facing a crowd like that with an acoustic guitar, first of all, before you brought the band in, I mean, was there a kind of an adversarial sense there? You know, there was plenty of fans of yours there, but was it a case that you were fighting to win people over last night? Did you find that, or...? I don't think fighting to win people over, but fighting to, you know, that 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 beautiful graft of a gig, you know, to to try yeah. to connect with strangers on a personal level, Absolutely. and that's what it's all about for me. It's all it's it's communal. As I said last night, we're all in this together, and we know it. You know, it's not it's it has to be inclusive, and you have to uh, invite people into the world that you're trying to create through your art, through your right. songwriting, through your lyrics. You know. 
but it was just it was it was it was a magical experience to be honest. Well, it really was. You got some reception. I mean, but y- y- this year you've you've been traveling around the festival circuit a bit, certainly in England as well uh, with the stripes. I know. Yeah. Is there a sense when, when you come to a festival like this that this is your opportunity to get your message across, to really to convert people, to, you know, to, to make new friends and fans, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. It's, um, as I said, it's a beautiful experience to get up onto a stage and to strip yourself bare and to express yourself. But the beauty of it is when I go to these festivals and, and gig after gig, you meet these like-minded souls that are out there. Mm-hmm people that as a teenager or, or even younger as a child you want to connect with the, tr- the your tribe of people that are out there yeah. but you just have to find them you know and these are beautiful uh, experiences and opportunities to find mm. more like-minded souls you know okay well last night as well you had some pretty heavy duty support with you last night as yeah. well in the form of the band uh, we had uh, Graham Hopkins on drums Graham yeah. famous as a uh, Frames man and uh, Joey from the Hot Rockets, Rockets yeah. as well. Now I didn't know the guitar player. Maybe you could fill David Bellew. He's an old friend of mine from Dundalk. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, incredibly gifted lad. And uh, just when you have people like Graham and Joey in the band, and I know you've had uh, a lot of high-profile support from people like uh, Glenn Hansard, who was there last yeah. night. And how important is that to you? That kind of patronage, almost. You see, those the, the Glenn Hansards and the Damien Dempseys and the Liam Wainleys and the Fake No Brain Ons. Mm. They are men who are in it and have been in it and are still in it for the right reasons. Yeah, very much so, yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And they're great teachers. And so I'm blessed that, you know, this, this seeing something in me, you know, it's, uh, as I said, they're great teachers, but that's what I aspire to be. I aspire to be a worldly, a worldly human being mm. that has traveled and takes these experiences and churns them all out into into, into words and melody, you know. But, uh, Talking about words and melody, let's talk about what you're creating, what you're trying to do. Is it fair to say there's there's two strands going into it? There's there's the music side, but also very important to you is, is the lyrical side, the almost poetical yeah. side. And uh, maybe you could expand a bit on that. Um, let's talk about the lyrics, first of all. You've mentioned before uh, the works of Bean and Yeats and Wilde and people like that. Mm-hmm. Um, how, how much do they inform what you're trying to do and the world you're trying to create? Well, I think I'm trying to cultivate this world I love artists who create their own world and they invite you in and that's what I'm trying to do but I've always had an obsession with language and poetry from a very early age stemming from my, my grandparents who would have you know as I said my grandmother I told you before my grandmother read me being going to sleep and yeah. things like that but language is, is such a pure form of expression mm. and I think there's no point saying something for the sake of saying something and yeah. if you're going to put something out into the world put something out that's nourishing and that might benefit the human condition, you know? But uh, as I said, writ- the written word is where I, is my main medium of expression, you know? And, yeah. and, and therefore, you know, when you grow up on a diet of all those boys, I mean, you've a lot to live up to. Yeah, you know? it's but I mean, that's just, it's just, it's just something I love. I love language and I try to put that across, you know? Well, how about say something like uh, Nazareth House, which you played last night. Yeah. Uh, which is it takes from Brendan and Dominic Behan. It's a, mm. there's an almost it's like an almost urban ballad if you if you if you'll allow me. Yeah. That sure. uh, um, the message on that. Could you talk a bit about that song and how that came about and, and and what the thinking was behind it. Well, as they say in the opening opening lines, I was getting ready for summer in a late night pharmacy, and it's about making your way through town on a summer's evening or a summer's night. It's about maybe being ostracized from society mm. and there's a frustration, there's anger in it. But I like to, I think I lead myself or I lead the, the character in that song on a merry dance through town. Mm. And it's a, it's a, it's a song of hope and it's a song of self-belief. But uh, I get a lot of kind of Kerouac vibes off it. You know, it's kind yeah, of like yeah, those kind of imagery in it, you know? Mm. Okay, well then we'll, we'll quickly move over to the musical side of thing now. I re- reviewed you before, as you know, when you supported the Stripes and Thomas yeah. House, fantastic show. And I mentioned the, the kind of uh, the distance between Luke Kelly and maybe Jeff Buckley, but I may have been mistaken listening to your stuff again. There's a lot of Tim Buckley in, say, something like Cobwebs yeah. or something like that. Would that be, Absolutely. and also in, in, in the way you sing as well, I mean, yeah. would that be someone who's an important influence on you? Absolutely, yeah. My uncle would have exposed me to Tim Buckley very early on. And it's that, it's, I think Jeff Buckley said it himself, it's the Irish lilt. Yeah. It's the yeah. Irish lilt. And it's the Shannon Slilt. Yeah. And you can hear that in Tim Buckley's voice and, and Jeff Buckley's voice as well. 
But um, and, yeah. from, and from a musical point of view, you've mentioned uh, Dylan and Cohen before as well. People like that. I mean, on your day off, if you ever get one, and you're at home, what's the kind of thing you you choose to listen to yourself, just as a kind of a pick me up? <sighs> something just soothing, you know. This recently, I've been listening to Chet Baker, just Chet Baker's voice, you know, just something you can just switch off and you can just. You can just lay back on the bed, you can just drift away, you know, but mm. apart from little snippets of things, I find it very hard to listen to to, mm. to music. Yeah. Because it, try, it kind of pulls me out of my own headspace, you know. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. I'm talking about current current yeah, music, sure, yeah. of course, yeah. you know. Um, I I can't con- I can't connect with most um, current current bands or, or current uh, musicians. That's, that present, that, you know. that's not a huge surprise, to yeah, be honest, yeah. you know. <laughs> you, but, um, the, um, James Dean is this is a single. Is it as a single? Is it is it released or is it it's a not, video no. release? A video release definitely. Video was released, right. yeah, but And again, that has your heavy hitters on it. Also has uh, yeah. our good friend from the Stripes, Josh uh, McClory, young Josh, yeah. fair yeah. play to him, who'll be on this stage today. Yeah. Um, the plans then, you're, I presume you're working towards an album. I am. And we might see that maybe next year at this stage, is it? Who's to know? I mean, yeah. for, the thing for me is to stay true to the honesty and the, the integrity of the songs and to keep them as bare and as real and sincere as possible. No production. They don't need any bells and whistles hanging off them. Mm-hmm. Because I'm trying to put myself out there and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about my love of language and my inspirations. And then if I put out music that is, is produced or overproduced, it sounds like a, I'm a liar, you know, I'm full of shit. And uh, everything I've, I've talked about is a lie. You know, and it, it, it's just a recorded contradiction, you know, so um, I'm just taking my time with it and fine tuning, you know, the so means of how I'm going to put it out there, put it that way. You know? So it'll be ready when it's ready. It'll be ready when it's ready. Very, very <laughs> All right. Well, announced last night as well, you're doing a headline show in Whelan's. The 5th of January. 5th of January. Yeah. And when can people get tickets for that? Can they get them already? Do you know? Or uh, next Friday. Next Friday. <laughs> tickets on sale for that. That's not one next to miss. Friday. Um, next Friday. You're playing again today, is that correct? I'm playing on the Body and Soul main stage at 4 o'clock and the bandstand at 6 o'clock. The bandstand so at 6 o'clock. And are they solo gigs? Are they yeah, on their yeah, own? yeah, 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 own? yeah. Okay. yeah. The lads. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we've covered everything quickly there. In motor mouths, two of us on the bloody stage there. Um, we'd love you to give us another song or two, if that was all right. Absolutely. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please thank the marvellous David Keenan. Thank you very much, David. Thanks a million. Uh, Pat mentioned James Dean though, so I better give that a lash. You know. Stabbed me in the chest like the pimp Prudence knife. It's a poor wandering bucket under a mother of pain. Sky. The back of the wall I bought Cursing all in real and rain Feeling out of sorts like a road sweeper Dressed up to the nines As the multicolored kite Over shoulders taking flight And the local matador He gives two fingers to the girl next door I had a dream that James Dean was alive and well today Looking for the quiet light, working for Irish Ray And my father's clothes with a bloody nose, I sang his own so sweet You by the slot machine, there's James Dean, out cold beneath my feet Then the disciples from the street they all burst into open doors And the creaking of the chairs And the running down the stairs Pure ecstasy The circus master smiles Pointing his finger at the mine I hear the distant call Of a boy named Paul Who was taken before his time And all the precious stones Of the mongrels born Entice me, you silly child you just run on home for your tea's long cold And your mother cursed you blind And 
the back door man feels wrong For switching off when signing on And a double jointed teeth Wins an award for pure indecency James D. Rose alive and well to do Bloody nose, I sang as a mess of I'll buy the slot machine. That's James D. Out cold beneath my feet. And the disciples from the street, they all burst into open doors. And the creaking of the chairs, and the running down the stairs. Pure ecstasy. Having a dream that James Dean is alive and well today. He's working for Irish Rail. Ladies and what about that? David, thank you so very much. Uh, before we let, we let you go, we have time for another song if you're good enough to give us one. Ah, that'll sure. be all right. Folks, would, would, would we like to hear another song from David? We would. Can I get more uh, uh, guitar in the monitor, please, if you can? I think it's fair to say this is probably the most exciting and interesting new artist going in the country today. So, uh, David, uh, take it away when you're ready. Thanks very much again. Uh, folks, just while David is tuning up there, um, when he's finished, if you hang around, we have the Dublin Gospel Choir joining us. The whole lot of them. I don't know how we're going to fit them on the stage, but we'll give it a good go. I fear there'll be some furniture moving in our future, I think. But, uh, David, thanks very much, and away you go. Thanks, thanks again. Man, I appreciate it. This is in Nazareth House. This is about getting ready for summer in a late-night pharmacy or a back alley druggist, or a back door chemist. It's open to interpretation. I was getting ready for summer in a late night pharmacy. Oh, when a person of interest came and asked me to dance And for fear of being made out into something I am not Yeah, well, I took up his offer and skipped on into the the semi-conscious streets that dare not speak ill of the disillusioned youth in second-hand suits or the God-fearing husband too afraid to go home to the wife with the knife for he is Caesar and she is Rome the pillars of hand chisel stone standing guard by the untouchable throne they smugly spit look here the dog with his precious bone and not tonight kid get drunk go home and not tonight kid get drunk go home and not tonight kid get drunk go home but yeah, I've no home to go to. Sure, I've no home to go to. Sure, I've no home to go to. Sure, I know home to go see. But not tonight, kid. You're drunk. Go home. But not tonight, kid. You're drunk. Go home. No, not tonight, kid. You're drunk. Go home.
not tonight, kid. You are drunk. Go home. Thank you.